Question 9. A fish tank is being drained at a constant rate. The graph shows the linear relationship between the volume of water in the fish tank in liters and the time in minutes the tank has been draining. Okay, so nothing really important here. They're just describing this graph. Which value best represents the rate of change of the volume of water in the fish tank with respect to time? So what is important here? Rate of change. That is all that you really need to understand for this question. What is rate of change? Rate of change is the slope, and the letter for that is m. So you need to remember that rate of change is slope. And there is a formula for that. We're going to go ahead and take a look in our reference materials. It's going to be in group 3. And the formula for slope of a line is m equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. I'm going to go ahead and copy that down. m equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Now to use this formula, I need two ordered pairs. So let's go ahead and pick two ordered pairs. And I'm gonna make it easy on myself. I'm gonna go ahead and pick the y-intercept, which is 60. Let's go ahead and write an ordered pair for that, x, y. Looks like 60 is on the y line, and, and it's touching the line, so it's zero, right? x is zero, y is 60. And I'm gonna pick the x-intercept here which is 10, this 10 is on the x line, so it's x, and y is zero. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and write those down right here. So here is zero, 60, and 10, zero. Okay, we're gonna need to write x1, y1, x2, y2. Let's go ahead and do the formula. y2 is zero, copy minus, y1 is 60. Copy your divided by, x2 is 10, copy your minus, copy your x1, which is zero, okay? So let's go ahead and put these in the calculator. First, you're gonna put what is up on top in the calculator, what is in the numerator. So let me go ahead and grab my calculator. Zero minus 60, that is negative 60. Copy or divide it by 10 minus zero, that is 10. And let's go ahead and put that in the calculator, negative 60 divided by 10 negative six. So please remember, if you don't know your math, please go ahead and just use your calculator. Okay, so that is your slope or your rate of change, negative six. Now, I'll go ahead and explain how you get the units, uh, just in case you're interested. It's kind of the same thing. So you're going to put m equals, up is the letter y, and then down is the letter x, right, according to my formula. You're going to go ahead and take a look here. So what is the y up here? Looks like y is, remember this is the line for y. y is the volume of water in liters. I'm going to go ahead and put liters. What is in the parentheses is what you're going to write. So this is L for liters. Well, I'll just put L because they didn't put the word. So L, copy or divide it by x. This is x. We're going to put what is in parentheses, which is the minutes. And this line is actually per, okay? So how you would write that is negative six liters per minute. Okay, so that's what I had over there. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like, leave a comment and subscribe. See you again soon.